this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share home renovation and DIY videos. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of future videos. Today we are really excited to be chatting about our new paint sprayer and how we used it in our most recent renovation. Throughout our time renovating different spaces, we have painted a lot of walls. And I can tell you, we were very impressed with this paint sprayer. I'll tell you how much time it saved and exactly why we loved it. We will be sharing everything you need to know about the Wagner Flexio 5000, which was gifted to us by Wagner and they have sponsored this video. This paint sprayer comes with its own power box, which makes it really easy and convenient to move the paint sprayer around to different locations, which was great for this project since it was away from our home. When you open up your carrying case, you'll find everything you need right inside, including the turbine that actually pushes the air through the hose and pushes your paint out. You can also easily store the detail finish nozzle, which is for smaller projects, and the eye spray nozzle for larger projects in this carrying case. To assemble your paint sprayer, first remove the hose with the attached handle and attach the hose to the air hose port in the power box. At this point, you can also remove the nozzle you'll be using and you can unwrap the power cord and remove that as well. Now you can close the box up since everything you need for your paint spraying project is already out. After you've attached the hose, you can now attach the handle to the nozzle and you're ready to go. At this point, you'll want to reference the manual for the power and materials settings guide, but we'll also quickly go through all of the different settings and options too. There are a lot of different ways to customize the spray of your paint sprayer. And the first one is by adjusting the air cap. And this is what allows you to either give a horizontal spray or a vertical spray. We actually used both of these options when we were spraying the board and batten. We used the horizontal spray when we were spraying up and down so that we would get maximum coverage. And when we were spraying sideways, left and right on the top rails, we switched it and used the vertical spray option. The red spray width lever here allows you to choose between a wide or a narrow spray pattern. Since we were painting an entire room, we chose the wide option. The next option to adjust is the material flow control. Um, again, you'll want to reference your manual for the material settings guide because the setting of this option depends on how viscous your fluid is. You can spray anything from thin stains and sealers to oil or latex paints. And since we were spraying a paint and primer in one, we chose to do it on setting 11 and it worked perfectly. Next, you can adjust the X boost power dial at the back, which adjusts the air pressure in the paint sprayer. If you choose a higher setting, it will spray faster and give a smoother finish, whereas a lower setting might give a more textured finish. Then there's an on-off switch on both sides of the gun, which is actually genius and allows you to turn the turbine off. And finally, there's a lever that allows you to disconnect and spin the nozzle off, and also you can just spin off the material container. Both of these options make it really easy to clean your paint sprayer when you're done using it. Another awesome feature that the Flexio 5000 has is that when the case handle pops up, it allows you to set the gun upright so that when you have paint in your container, it doesn't tip on its side and won't get paint in areas it's not supposed to. It's a small thing, but it's really helpful when you're actually using the paint sprayer. Okay, so now that we know all of the great features, we will go through all of the prep work we did and how we actually use the paint sprayer. So the first step anytime you're using a paint sprayer is to tape off all of the parts of the room that you don't want to get tape on. 
In our case, we were doing a bathroom here, so we wanted to tape off all of the fixtures and the plumbing, as well as the ceiling, since we didn't want to get any paint on the ceiling above the wall. We were planning to wallpaper above our board and batten and to put new flooring down, so we didn't worry at all about taping off those two areas. There is a lot of overspray when you're using a paint sprayer, so if you are doing work inside, you do have to make sure to protect the whole area. We used these drop cloths that we got from our local dollar store and some frog tape, and that was all we needed to make sure everything was sealed off. It probably took about an hour to properly protect and seal the entire bathroom. That may sound like a long time, but it saved us much more than an hour in painting. Now just fill your pot with paint. It probably takes about a third of the gallon. Make sure your settings on your paint sprayer are correct and get spraying your room. Occasionally there was a run in the paint or some minor touch-ups that we wanted to do So we did make sure to have a paintbrush on hand all the time while we were spraying the room as well It took about half an hour to spray the entire room and the paint went on in a really nice smooth thick coat So we only had to do one coat total in the whole room with about an hour of prep work and half an hour of spraying, you can really see how using a paint sprayer would be beneficial in the long run, especially if you paint more than one room a year like we often do. There is something so satisfying about removing tape after you've painted a space and we were so happy with the beautiful lines we got from the paint sprayer here. The final step is just cleaning out all the pieces of your paint sprayer. We did actually already clean this one and forgot to take a video, so we just quickly took it apart to show you how easy it is to take the different components apart and clean them off. You do want to make sure to clean off your paint sprayer and all of the different pieces as soon as you're done spraying because anything that dries in there can get hardened and end up gunking up the machine and making it not easy to spray with the next time. There is also a little cleaning brush that comes with the paint sprayer that you can use to clean up all of the inside pieces. The rooms that we showcased in this video are two bathrooms that we gave a makeover to at a local hair salon and I will link that video up top if you haven't had a chance to check it out yet. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions about using a paint sprayer, please leave them in the comments below and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!